what's been on my mind Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Can please subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when we put out a new video. Plus, like it so we see when people like what our content is, and also share with your friends and family. Um, we you have an Instagram want, account? We also have an Instagram account, which is RV Rolling underscore with MJ. Totally appreciate all your support and our whole hard work that we do. Um, we really love doing it and definitely would love you to be part of our community or be rolling with that day. Hello again, everybody. It's Scott and Melissa. Welcome to RV Rolling with MJ. This weekend, we spent a few days at... We're at Turtle Beach Campground, which is in Sarasota. It's right on the Gulf of Mexico. It's actually in Siesta Key? Yes. Okay, one of, not, not the Florida Keys, but it's a <laughs> key off the West Coast. Um, north of like Naples and um, south of Tampa, uh, as Melissa said, in the Sarasota area. Uh, we spent uh, a few nights at a campground and a couple of days in the sun. But tell us about the campground. The campground is really small. I think it's about 40 sites altogether. Uh, the, they are very close together. Our, our, our particular site, which was number 10, was very close to the people on both sides. And there wasn't, a, we couldn't even put our rug out. But I mean, it's a nice campground. You have to go through a gate. Um, you don't have to check in once you get there. You just have to put your coat in to go through the gate. And, uh, and then you go pull back into your spot. It's right walking distance. I mean, literally, we're right on the beach. I mean, it's not, there's no views of the beach, but we're right on the beach uh, at Turtle Beach. Plus, there's a great shuttle that takes you pretty much from 10 to like 10 a.m. to like close to 10 p.m. And it takes you to um, Siesta Key Beach and the Siesta Key Village, which we went to last night. So. Yep, and it's, it's about four or five miles um, to get down, I guess, downtown. And it, it seems like a really nice um, happening area with restaurants, uh, bars, souvenir shops. Didn't seem too touristy, but it just seemed like a good um, a good town. We actually ate at the Lobster Pot. Delicious. Delicious, which was um, kind of rare where you see, especially in Florida, believe it or not. I mean, there's seafood in Florida, don't get me wrong. But this was like a, a Maine, New England type yes, restaurant totally. that had Maine lobster as opposed to, um, I guess, Florida lobster. We went to a couple of beaches. Which beaches did we go to? We went to the Turtle Beach, which is attached to the campground, which was very nice. It wasn't, um, it wasn't busy. And then uh, that we did that on Friday. And then yesterday we went to, we took the free, tr it's a free trolley. We took it all the way to Siesta Key Beach. And that beach is huge. It has like a walkway that you can walk to mo through most of the beach. The sand was absolutely stunning, so, the white sand. So that beach um, signs everywhere that says this is the number one beach, I guess, in the country. Yeah. Um, personally, I don't see it. But I could see certain things because the, the sand, I don't know if I ever saw white sand like it was, and the water was that blue-green, it was f really far in, and it was very safe swimming for the kids. Um, you can go really far out. The only thing is, was that it was very crowded. And uh, if you, we didn't drive there, but we saw the parking. And if you're planning on driving, yeah, you probably yeah, yeah. get there early. I also see. would rather go to the beach um, that's attached to the campground because it's you're right there and it's really easy. Now it doesn't have that white sand, but it still had that beautiful um, blue mm. blue green water. And it's not a long beach, so you don't have to walk forever. And but. we just got here like an hour ago or two, and uh, it's a small campground and it's right on the beach. I mean, it's not, you don't have, to, there's none on the beach, meaning like there's none RVs on the beach. Oh, okay, stop. 
but it's walking distance. What's today? Oh, today's our anniversary. So, 32 years ago, we got married in Long Island. 32 wonderful years and uh, traveling all over the world, enjoying our life. What are you doing? <laughs> and there's MJ. We set up. They're very small, which I knew that. Luckily, it's enough room for RRV. Pretty much you pay before, so you don't need to check in. You just come in, they give you a code, and you go through the gate. And the beach is straight ahead. I think there's only maybe 40 sites here. It looks like there's no lifeguard. And there's the ocean. Painting again. She's painting. painting. What are you making tonight? I'm making uh, teriyaki chicken with uh, veggies and uh, I made my own sauce. So it's homemade sauce, oh. not store book. Hear that sizzle? Oops. And um, with right rice that I made at home on my rice cooker. I have this little carrying case, which is really nice. I got it at Camping World. Here's the source. I put it in this. I'm about finished with the, with the dinner, the, the uh, teriyaki chicken, which I found online for the Blackstone. You filming me to the dishes? Okay. Nice. Dinner was delicious. We only have a little bit left. Though. I'm the only one wearing a sweatshirt because it's 75 degrees and I'm cold. Wow! Look how look how high that. It looks like the guy's walking on uh, Jesus. water. Jesus. Like Jesus. Sunset. So we're sitting here enjoying the beach. I have a little. What happened to my wine? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I have a glass of wine. I don't know if you're allowed to drink, but I am. And watching this great sunset. She's on an island. Look at the island she's on. Yes, we walk right through there. Hopefully it doesn't know high tide comes up and then we'll get We're going to be on an island in a moment. Yeah. Right? We walk just like in the movie. Or like Jesus. What's the movie again? Uh, Bruce Almighty. She's Bruce. It's like a double high tide. The only thing is there's too many people. But other than that, it was voted number one, I guess because of the water and this white sand, but too many people. There's not that many waves, which is nice, unless you like to jump the waves. I used to jump the waves when I used to go to Jones Beach and when I lived in Long Island, New York, and they were huge waves, oh my God. I remember as a kid, getting caught up and like tossed around, really scary in those waves. give a number uh, from 10 to 1 with 10 being the best place we've ever been and 1 being the not so best place we've ever been. So with that, uh, Melissa, you'll go first. So 
So I'm going to give it, it's very hard um, to give it a score, um, but I'm going to give it a seven and a half because it probably would have been higher, but the campground itself is, as I said, is small and to get into the spot was, and you don't have that much room to sit out. So that's the reason why I'm going to give it a seven and a half. Otherwise it would have been higher because the proximity to the beach and the fact that they have the free shuttle and they had that cute town and the other beach that we went to. So that's why I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. Uh, if, if this was not on the beach, it probably would have been lower. Oh, we also went on to the beach at sunset, we forgot to mention, which was a really nice sunset. Oh, also this campground doesn't allow dogs, so we couldn't bring our dog. I don't know why, only thing I think of is the sea turtles. So yeah, this, this was a very tough one for me. I will say, Definitely come to the area. I, I think the area is I would nice. still come here. Yeah, I, I think the area is nice. I think um, Siesta Key is nice. Um, come here, stay here. She does all the bookings for the campsites. So I don't know if there are other campsites near here. Um, on this key, I don't know that. I, if they're nearby, what I would suggest is probably stay somewhere else. And here's why. Yeah, it's right on the beach, but it isn't on the beach. You still have to walk a little bit to the beach. Not so far. if if that's your thing, um, then it it you know it's great to go. But as far as a campsite, I mean, I I almost rather stay at, at a at a Cracker Barrel or Walmart. Um, really? It, yeah. Wow. Uh, only because it didn't it had a man it had um, doesn't have any amenities. But it, it has full hookups, which is always oh, yeah. which is always good. But other than that, crowded. Um, and one of my pet peeves, because there's no space, everyone basically parks their their truck in the, the one street that goes down. So it's I mean it looks like a thing of metal. It could this might as well be a parking lot. That's my sort of my point with the Cracker Barrel at Walmart. I'm, I'm only going to give this a, a 6.5. Um, we have to leave here after uh, after this. I'm actually a little nervous of how am I going to fit to get out of here. Yeah, and when you I have to when you have to worry about leaving, uh, making sure you can get out of your spot, you know it's it's tight. So until next time, we, we will, will see you down, down the road. road.